Each of this year's inductees touched the lives of so many, as Richard mentioned. We would be doing ourselves a disservice to not hear from a few of those who are very close to our new Hall of Famers. Throughout their long history together with the Cardinals, Mike Shannon and George Kissel formed a very special relationship. Please welcome to the podium, Mike Shannon. Thank you, Dan. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't get uh, a bigger place for you to get. We got some more people that would be outside. But I can't tell you what a great man George Kissel was. His legacy will live forever in the Cardinal organization. <laughs> Such a special man with so many qualities, but he lived uh, what he preached. He was just phenomenal. Uh, I can't tell you. There, it would take, it would take uh, two encyclopedias to tell you about the qualities of uh, Mr. Kissel. He, he was phenomenal. But he had the great art of teaching. And uh, what you could learn from George Kissel is immense. But one of his great teaching methods was simplicity. And as young players that would come into the uh, spring training, he had a couple of sayings. One of them was, uh, you know, if he caught a guy that he thought was hanging around the wrong people, he'd say, ducks of a feather. Very short, but the guy got the point. And then as uh, Dick said, come early, stay late, and you'll be around for a long time. And that's true, and even today, you hear these young players talking about that. He also would tell general managers, owners, and uh, people in the front office, he said, when you go into someone's house, you don't rearrange the furniture. And the one I remember most is because, you know, if a guy was out late or doing this and doing that, he'd say, you can't hoot with the owls and soar with the eagles. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that one the most, but I do. <laughs> but he had such a passion for the game. And I'm going to tell you, when he was a coach for Tony La Russa, I can't tell you how many times other managers and coaches would come to me and say, Mike, is George here today? They had so much respect for him. He mentioned just a few. And there are so many people in the Hall of Fame, and there will be so many people that will go into the Hall of Fame because George helped them get there. Trust me, he was the greatest teacher. He was a cardinal. God bless him. <laughs> 